All right, I believe we are live, as is our habit. We are uh, going live a few seconds early to let everyone get kind of settled in. And in about 10 seconds, we'll do our official announcement. But we are here for some more classic Blood Bowl. Lynn, are you going to uh, <clears throat> have to adjust your, your play strategy now that you're playing the, uh, the speedy and um, pass-centric elf team versus the hard-hitting dwarf team? Yes. It's a good thing I'm playing against skeletons. All right, well, let's get this show on the road here. So, hi, everybody. This is Lee from skirmishwargames.com. Welcome to another Blood Bowl live stream. This is uh, classic Blood Bowl from 1988 that we're playing. So this is a uh, set that I actually got at a comic book store 30-plus years ago and have had with me the whole time. And today we are playing a matchup of... Elves versus dwarves. I'm sorry, elves versus undead. Excuse me. So we have two teams. We have the uh, elf team, which is incredibly speedy and uh, very good passing and catching game. And so here is an example of some of the players you'll see. So that guy on the uh, right there, I'm sorry, on the left, is an elf blitzer. He is the toughest elf on the team. That guy to his uh, right is an elf lineman. There is a tree man, so they have coaxed a tree man out of the forest to uh, play the game with them today. Then there is an elf catcher and an elf thrower. And this morning, Lynn actually threw some color on some of these guys on their bases to help make uh, distinguishing them a little easier. So you'll see that the blitzer is red, the lineman is still brown, the uh, catcher is what? He is uh, yellow, and then the thrower will be white. Then we have... The Champions of Death, the skeleton team. And so you can see here, at the time this game came out, there was no dedicated uh, Blood Bowl undead miniatures, I believe. And so most people used Warhammer Fantasy skeletons, and sometimes they would stick Space Marine, plastic Space Marine shoulder pads on them. But that's what we have here. We have the skeleton team. The guy with the white base is a skeleton thrower. The guy with the yellow base is a skeleton catcher. There is a third edition mummy. Uh, you could play a, a mummy in 2nd edition, but I don't think they had a designated miniature for it. So that is a 3rd edition mummy, and then there is a skeleton lineman with, as we said, plastic space marine shoulder pads. So that's what's going on there. All right. So very good. We have already uh, sort of pre-deployed today the, uh, let's see, who's kicking off here? The Champions of Death are going to be kicking off. We've already uh, set up the elves they have uh, prepared to receive. And if you see that yellow dot there, that is where the football is supposed to land during the kickoff. So uh, skeletons are not that great during the kickoff. They don't have a designated kicker. And actually, if they roll a 5 or a 6, they're going to need to roll a 10 to try to land that ball in the right place. And then they need to roll a 5 or a 6 to see if their skeleton kicker is actually injured during the uh, kickoff. So one of these guys... I think I decided it was going to be uh, this guy right here who was going to kick off. And so uh, let's see what happens. So first we're going to roll to see if that um, ball lands where it's supposed to. And no, it does not. So it's going to scatter a little bit. It's actually veering in the air right now. It hasn't even landed. So two. So it's going to go one, two, three. And if any of your elves can sprint to that spot, they can catch it in the air before it... Okay, so you can just put that there. And the reason we're using a yellow dot instead of a football is simply because it shows up better on screen. So that's, uh, that's what's going on there. So the elves, you can see there this uh, elf thrower has caught the football. It's an elf thrower with a white base. The blitzers have a red base. The uh, catchers have kind of a yellow base, and the regular linemen have more of a brown base. And then there's the tree man right there. So during the kickoff, the elves have uh, caught the ball in the air. And now the uh, skeletons need to roll. The skeleton kicker needs to roll to see if his foot bone became disjointed during the kick and flies off, which would put him in the stun box, I believe. Yes. And no, he's fine. He's fine. He's been practicing. So the elves are an excellent uh, passing team and an excellent running team. And they do have a couple of blitzers, which, uh, you know, can fight on the field if they need to. The skeletons are not really good at anything. Their only claim to fame, <coughs> excuse me, is their uh, 
unnatural resilience. So if they get injured, we've actually been playing the game wrong. Kind of looked at the rules again, and the way we had been doing it was when uh, the turns changed, so when one team uh, yielded the turn to the next team, then all the players who were stunned would move into the reserve box uh, for that team. But actually, you only do that when there's a touchdown. You don't do that every turn. So uh, people actually stay in the uh, injured box longer, except for skeletons. They do move one skeleton down the track every time it is a skeleton turn, and that represents the skeletons being sort of patched together by the necromancers on the side of the field. So that's what's going on there. So we have done the kickoff. The elves have caught the ball, so they have possession of the ball. That's an elf thrower. He's extremely dangerous, especially if he's throwing to an elf catcher. And now we are going to move up the champions of death. So uh, part of the kickoff procedure is that after they kick off, the kicking team can move up four and uh, brings them up to the second line. And so that is what's going on. That way, if they want to change their positioning by where the ball landed, they can do so. They can do so, but I think we more or less stick with uh, where we are for the moment. So that is, uh, there's the Elf team, and there's the Champions Death team, and I'm going to use this opportunity to adjust my camera. Actually, you should adjust your camera slightly over there, Lynn, since you have. You can just kind of move it like that and just kind of get, see how... Oops. Okay. Not yet. Oops. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so, is that where you want it? That shows both teams, I think. Okay. All right. So, let's uh, tilt that down just a little bit more on the skeletons. Sorry about that, folks. Just trying to get the camera angle right, okay. and then we'll leave it be for a while. So, there's the skeleton team. There is the uh, elf team. And we go into... Uh, Turn one, and as the elves move, so they have the receiving team, and they are going to uh, do their thing. What do you need? Tilt yours down a little bit. Why? Because you're showing way over here. Am I? You were. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. I okay. will. Uh, I will tilt. All right. Is that better? Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so they all have pretty good movement skills. The elves, the blitzer has a movement of four and a sprint of three. Uh, they all do. The catcher has actually a sprint of four, so he can go further than anyone else. All right. So, again, the red guys are the blitzers. The uh, brown guys are the linemen. The yellow guys are the catchers, and the white guys are the throwers. So, so the catcher is going to move up here. Okay, the catcher's running down the sidelines. If he gets behind the line of skeletons, it's going to be really bad news because an elf thrower can lob almost the whole distance of the field, and if he's throwing to a catcher, it's very likely he will succeed. So... The lineman is going to move up right next to him. Okay. Blitzer's going to do the same. If you're just joining us, we're playing some classic Blood Bowl from 1988. And uh, I think most of these are, with the exception of the mummy, uh, these are all second edition minis, except for the skeletons are Warhammer Fantasy from that era, since there were no second edition skeletons. And the mummy is a third edition addition to this team, but we wanted to have a mummy, so there he is. Treeman can only move three. All right. Treeman is going to clump forward. Mm-hmm. And the other... Three, one, two, three, four. Okay. So that is the elf team. They have moved up. And now it is time, I think. We're going to throw the ball. Throw the ball. You throw the ball after all blocks and everything. So, yeah, you can, you can toss the ball. So we're going to throw it to the catcher. It's a quick pass. All right. Let me adjust the camera slightly to get in on the action since you've moved up so quickly. They are speedy. They are very speedy. That's part of their gig. That's part of their bag. Let's see. All right. 
So the catcher has a plus two. So we have an elf thrower right here. Mm -hmm. Get the hair right here, and he's going to throw to this catcher. Yep. All right. So that's going to be just a little flea flick of a pass, right? Right. Um, so the catcher has a plus two to his coolness, and the thrower has a plus one to his throwing skill, I believe. Oh, plus two. Okay, so plus two and plus two. Let me so, see the measuring stick there. So it's plus four. So that is uh, a quick pass at plus four. There you go. So that's almost nothing. Right. What do you need? Um, six to 12 to catch it. Okay. And we got it. Okay, so there is a quick pass to the elf catcher. So well done. And he's prepared to zip down the uh, sidelines there on his next turn if nothing stops him. So Correct. we'll have to see what the skeletons can do. All right, very good. Quick adjustment of the cameras to uh, kind of catch the action as best we can. All right. What's your camera angle look like there? It's got all the skeletons. It's got the front lines. All right, very good. We're trying our best to juggle multiple cameras here to give you a uh, close-up view of the action as best we can. And so now the elves have just done there. They've received the football. They are rushing forward. The uh, elf uh, thrower here has done a quick pass to this elf catcher over here. And uh, now the skeletons have to see if they can stop the lightning strike elf offense. And uh, we did mention, we didn't mention, but we are going to sort of set a 90 minute time limit on this game so that it doesn't run too long. So uh, we'll see, uh, yeah, see how many scores, if any, these guys can get in that time limit. So elves have rushed forward. Now it is the champions of death and they need to decide what they're going to do to try to stop the elf onslaught. And it might be kind of difficult because the elves are just faster and pretty much superior in every way, except um, only the Blitzers are really good fighters. So we'll have to see if uh, skeletons can take out the elf throwers and linemen and catchers. All right, so I have a skeleton lineman right here. Skeleton lineman right here, and he is going to, let's see, He's got a movement of three and a sprint of two. Right, one, two, three. He can't quite get in there. Oh, and then the elf could just kind of run around him. So what am I going to do here? This is going to be kind of tricky. I suppose he will uh, run up that way. This catcher has a uh, this uh, skeleton catcher. He's fast. He's pretty fast. Let's see, can we see him? He's right here. He can uh, run three, and then he can. The catcher can run four. Oh, he can. Uh, he's and got a sprint a, three. He's got a movement of four and a sprint of three. So he's going to move up that way. This uh, lineman here, skeleton lineman. We're going to try to create a wall of bones. I guess is going to be the strategy. He's going to move up that way. The mummy is going to move one. Two, three. One, two, three for the other uh, linemen. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just kind of all pile in on the sidelines here. Why not? You only live once, or in the skeleton's case, maybe you don't live at all. I forgot my sprint. One, two, three. How many far do they sprint? Um, two. The, yeah. They can sprint two. So they're all going to kind of pile over this way, try to uh, make a wall of bones to prevent that catcher from just zipping into the end zone. And if they uh, don't make it, if this wall of bones is not successful, then it's probably all over for this uh, touchdown. All right, folks, if you're just joining us, we're playing some classic Blood Bowl from 1988. It is the elves, the Elfheim Eagles, versus the Champions of Death. And uh, the elves have kind of... Uh, They've received the football, they are rushing forward, and um, the skeletons have attempted to form a wall of bones to stop them. So the catcher right here has the football. Let's see if I can get a shot of him. So this elf catcher right here has the football. There's a wall of bones forming, and Lynn, why don't you take a moment to readjust your camera 
in on the skeleton mass there. You can just kind of move in like that if you like. Just kind of focus right in on those. Okay, great. And uh, there you can see, here's the skeletons trying to stop this uh, elf catcher from getting into the end zone. So now it is the elf's turn. And what are those elves going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is an elf catcher, eight. right? Yeah. Eight. He so he's eight. he's sprinting. Toward the end zone. Toward the end zone. So you're going to toss. You're going to have one, probably have one catcher toss to another catcher. We'll see. We shall see. One, two, three, four. All right, that is an elf lineman. And one, two, three. Yeah. So the blitzer and the lineman are going to attack your lineman. Okay, so you have an elf blitzer and an elf lineman, and they're going to attack this uh, skeleton lineman here. Let's see if we get a shot of that. Where are those? Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So their combined strength is what? So their combined strength is seven. Seven. Versus your lineman's strength of three, so plus four. All right. So we got a nine. Nine, nine is defender knocked over. So he knocked over that lineman. So he has to do his armor roll. He doesn't have much armor as a skeleton. He's got a seven. So armor value of seven. And he makes, he makes it. it. So he doesn't go into the injury pile, which is good. Yep. All right. So that is uh, that lineman and that blitzer. So a lineman is going to attack the other lineman. Oh, let's get a shot of that. So point him out, would you? So this lineman All right. is going to attack your lineman. So a elf lineman right here so is attacking a skeleton lineman right here. Both have a strength of three. Strength of three, so you don't get any bonus on your roll. Nine. Nine. Pretty good. is knocked over. You knocked over the uh, lineman. And again, he's only got an armor value of seven. seven. So he uh, goes face down in the dirt. Armor value of seven. Eight. He fails his armor roll. So yeah, now he goes on the injury, injury table. And uh, let's see if, how injured he is. Oh, 11 is not good. Serious injury. Serious injury. So he goes in the injured pile. And that's they a, don't. that's one they don't come back from in the, it's this game. Um, I think. Or is it different for them? Yeah, he might be injured. He might be out of the game. He is a bag of bones for the moment. All right. So this thrower goes seven. All right, point him out again, would you? All right, so that thrower moved forward seven, so he's kind of backing up. Let's see. Let's get, let's back up that thing again. Get a shot of the thrower and the catcher who are moving. Make sure that's stable so it doesn't tip it over on you. So they are right there. Okay. All right. So they are rushing toward the Champions of Death end zone. Those two guys. An elf thrower with the white base and a uh, elf catcher with the yellow base. All right. So Next, a tree man clumps forward three. One, two, three. All right. So he's going to attack the lineman. He is attacking. Or he's blocking the lineman. He is blocking the lineman. So he's going to try to smash that poor skeleton lineman. So he's got a strength of eight versus your strength of three, so plus five. Plus five. Which I needed. Ten. So ten is defender is knocked over. All right, the skeleton is knocked over into the dirt. You have uh, Mighty Blow 2 or something like that, right? Uh, Mighty Blow 2, yes. All right, so the tree man has stomped on this poor little skeleton. He's got Mighty Blow 2. So the skeleton's armor value is reduced from 7 to 5, and uh, this is not looking good. It and did. no. So And then you add half of that to the injury roll, right? Yeah. So we add 1. So, yeah. Now he's going to roll in the injury roll. 10. Serious injury. So he's squashed. I'll have to look and see if, if they can come back from serious injury or if it's just death they can't come back from. Right. Because it says, it's got a little arrow in the injury box, but... Which might only work for the skeletons. Might only work for the skeletons. We'll have to uh, double check that in the rules. All right, so the tree man has moved. These, uh, this lineman and the blitzer have moved. This thrower and this catcher have moved. So you have a thrower, a blitzer, 
a blitzer and a catcher to still do their thing. I think that's a lineman. I'm sorry, a lineman, correct. Yeah. So let's go over that again. Catcher, lineman, thrower, blitzer, and then this guy hit somebody, right? No, not yet. No? I don't think so. Well, let's see. You took out this guy. Yep. Somebody the hit this. Treeman took out this guy. I know, but somebody took out this guy. There's two in the injury oh, box. Okay, so maybe that was that one. All right, so we've got these four left. All right. So you have a blitzer, a catcher, a blitzer, a thrower, a lineman, and a catcher. So the blitzer is going to attack this lineman. All right. Your blitzer has a strength of what? Blitzer has a strength of four. All right. Versus a strength of three, so right. plus, plus one. Plus one on the roll. Eleven. <laughs> Defender is knocked over. Defender's knocked over. These poor skeletons. At least there's more in the reserve There's box. poor skeletons. Okay. And uh, roll his armor, armor roll. roll. Seven. Seven, he gets, gets it. it. He finally gets one. <laughs> poor skeletons. And see, there is. So, this blitzer knocked over this skeleton over here. Okay, lineman All right. is going to attack this, or block that catcher. So, so here's a lineman, elf lineman, trying to block this skeleton catcher. And he's a, the skeleton. Skeleton only has a strength of two. The lineman has a strength of three, so plus one. Uh, yes, that's correct. So six. Six. That might be a standoff. Standoff. Nothing happens. Okay. And then finally, you have your catcher right and here. And my thrower. And your thrower. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that catcher is moving to the other side of the field yeah. where there's no defenders. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. The seven. elves are too fast. They're just too speedy. Okay. So this elf here has the ball. He was on this side of the field. Now he's zipping over to this side of the field to uh, defeat our wall of bones, which was not that much of a wall, to tell you the truth. So let's see. Here he is. There's the ball carrier right there. And the end zone is. Kind of up here. Right. All right. Very good. I'm going to uh, slightly I decide if I'm going to throw too. Okay. I think we'll just leave it where it is. We're not going to throw it because they both the have a right zero. Now. Okay. So a catcher throwing to a to who would you throw oh, to? Oh no! I was going to throw it to the thrower, but I mean, you got a catcher right here. You could throw yeah. this catcher. Could throw to that catcher. Let's see. Be a long pass. Yeah, no. Okay. Not this time. Not this time. All right. Very good. So there is the ball carrier there with the... Uh... Can they ever hand off the ball if they get close enough to each other, or is it always a pass? Yeah, you can hand it off. If you're next to somebody, then they can just take it at the end of the turn. Okay. Good to know. Or pick it up. If it's on the ground, they can move, pick it up, and then keep going. Okay. All right, so that is the elf's turn. They are positioned to do pretty well here. So uh, you can see there at the top of the screen, just to the uh, right of the tree man, is the elf with the ball. You want to move your camera? Do you have a better angle on it? Okay. Just a second. All right. Okay. Tilt it in such a way that we get yep. the, the board and not a lot of extraneous stuff. Yep. And I'm going to move this camera as well. All right, so here we are. There is the uh, ball carrier right there. The skeletons have to decide if they're going to be able to uh, do something to help defend. Um, let's see. I suppose the mummy just well, out first of you can roll over, right? Yes, thank you. So the skeletons who are face down in the dirt now turn face up. And uh, you get to bring in two guys. Get to bring in two guys out of reserves and actually move. You, the we, we were going to check on the injured rule. For well, the I skeletons. don't know where to check on that. Okay. So, I'll just, so we'll just so roll for the skeletons to see if they it does. Can. It does say, but um, we'll just we'll just assume they can't come in. How's that? Well, you could roll. 
Yeah, I don't think that applies here. Okay. So I don't want to. I don't want to jam up gameplay by okay. digging through the rule book. So let's just say they say they can't come in because they're injured. So we're going to bring in a. Uh, that's the beauty of live stream. In a regular game, we would spend 15 minutes flipping through the rule book. I'm just not going to do it this time. We're just going to keep the uh, game clock going. All right. So a uh, let's see here. Can't quite see here, but take my word for it. We have a, uh, down here on the end, there is a skeleton lineman and a skeleton thrower. And now the skeletons get to do their thing. So we have rolled over anybody who was in the dirt. Yep. I'll wait till you're done. Yep, go ahead. Doing your thing. And let's see, I guess the mummy. Where is the mummy? There's the mummy, right in front of the tree man. All right. The mummy is right here. He is going to move forward two. He is going to uh, block this blitzer here. It's a lineman. Yeah, the lineman there, excuse me. <laughs> it's kind of an, an art form we have in Master, is moving the cameras around and playing the game at the same time. So, so mummy has a strength of six. There's the mummy. He has a strength of six. He's got mighty blow two, right? And lineman has a strength of three. All right. So the mummy gets a plus three on his roll to attack that lineman. Six. six. It's Nothing. A it's a standoff. That's horrible. Bubba hoped at the mummy. Didn't do very well. Okay. Now, what can I do with the rest of my measly skeletons, I guess? To try to get this uh, catcher right here who has the ball. Um, hmm. All right. All right. Here's what I can do. I do have a catcher right here. He's going to move one. He can move a total of seven, seven yeah. with his sprint. Two, three, four. So I guess I'll go there anyway. This uh, other lineman. We'll move up. And, attack and block the other lineman. He's going to block that lineman there. Just to so try that's to... an even up. So they're what, three versus three? Yep. So seven. that is a it's seven. A standoff. That's Nothing a standoff. Happens. Nothing happens. Way over here on the corner, can't quite see it. Way over here in the corner we have a catcher and we have a uh, lineman. So that is a combined strength for the skeletons of, of, five. of five versus this uh, lineman. elf lineman who has what? Three. A three. So you have plus two. Plus two on the multiple block table. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Good God. Then you've got your two that just came right, in. Right. Then I have my two reservists who just came in. So here is a lineman. He's going to go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, what's your sprint? So he can move a total of five, five. and that's it. So yeah. he's moved his five. The thrower can move up to five as five well. Five as well, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So that'll at least move in that direction. It's not really getting him anywhere, but uh, that's what's going on. All right, let's uh, adjust our camera slightly. To get a better view of uh, the action, such as it is. You have a good angle, do you think? Mm -hmm. All right. So, it is, uh, that is the end of the skeleton's turn. That was very uneventful. The elves are running roughshod over the poor skeletons. And uh, here's a look at the field. So, this Champions of Death down here at the end... This end zone is where the uh, guy here with the football wants to be. And he is a catcher, um, but there's another elf catcher way the heck down here who could probably zip into the end zone. So that's what's going on. We head into the next elf turn, and uh, any elves who've been knocked over, which are none, would uh, roll over. Um, so the skeletons stand up. The skeletons stand up, though. That's something. Mm-hmm. So the skeletons that rolled over last turn now stand up, so at least they're on their feet. So that's what's going on. All right. Well, what are the elves going to do? 
So this thrower and catcher okay. are going to go after this catcher. All right. So they're going to block the catcher. All right. So you have an elf catcher and an elf thrower, and they're going to combine forces to do multiple block on that skeleton uh, catcher there. So, so his, six versus two. His strength is only two, so you get a plus four on your roll. Which I need. Seven, eight. eight. All play oh, wait. Yeah, all, all players knocked over. Is that the uh, multiple, multiple block, block table? table. Yeah. And okay. Eight. All players are knocked over. Everybody's knocked over. So that was good for the skeleton. Okay. So yeah, he tripped him up with his bones. Yeah. So let's see here. Where is that action? Oh, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they uh, attacked that skeleton. They tried to multiple block him, but he tripped him up. So his armor value is only seven. And he gets, he gets it, it just barely. What's their yeah, armor value? What's eight. the Eight, I believe. Elf catcher? Yep, they're both eight. Okay, so who do you want to do first? Um, let's do the thrower. The thrower. He gives he makes, makes it. it. Catcher makes it. Makes it. All right. No injured elves up to this point. You're lucky they're not fighting dwarves. That's all I, I can know. say. Yep. The dwarves would pummel them into the dirt. Yep. Okay. So, we are playing some classic Blood Bowl from 1988. Is the elf's turn. The elves have possession of the football. And uh, continue your move, I suppose. That's a thrower. Okay. Yep, four, five, six, seven. So he's going to move seven. All right. Catcher can move eight. All right. Seven, eight. All right, so you move way down to the end of the field. Okay, so now we're going to move over here. Right, speak up a little bit for the microphone. Yep. So this lineman is going to get away from the mummy. All right, he doesn't want tomb rot. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. He doesn't want tomb rot. I can't imagine why. The true, the tree man. Yeah, the tree man. Actually, the blitzer is going to attack the lineman or okay. block the lineman. So here's an elf blitzer right here. He is going to attack that skeleton lineman. Skeleton lineman has a strength of three. What's your strength? Blitzer has a strength of four, so plus, plus one. Plus one on the roll. Five. Five. Standoff. It's Standoff. Nothing happens. Yeah, you do have, I believe, a lineman here, too. Yep. Who could also try to do something. The lineman is going to... Can you get around one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven. So he's going to block the skeleton. I'm just going to turn right. the skeleton the other direction so I can do right. the next one. So he's going to do a multiple block on that skeleton? No, only... he's going to do a single block. A single block. Uh, prone block, though. Where is he? Point him out. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the lineman has a strength of three. The catcher has a strength of two. So plus one. Plus one on the roll. Not three. Good. The blocking player is knocked over. That All skeleton right. is pretty wily. Yeah. He's just a tangle of bones, and, he and you, made it. you passed your armor roll, so that's good. Okay, so... All right, and what elves do you have left to move this turn? I've got these three left, okay. the tree man and the two over so here. So there's a tree man, a blitzer, and a uh, lineman. Lineman. All right, let's adjust the camera slightly to... Uh, let's see, I'll try this. How's that? Not great, but better. So the tree man is going to clump One, that way. Two, three. All right. He's going to block the lineman. Okay. So a strength of eight versus a strength okay. of three. So the tree man here is blocking the skeleton lineman. Plus five on your roll. So 12. Defender is stunned. Defender is stunned. So you stun that. Skeleton into oblivion, so he goes into the stun box. But he'll be back. He will be back. Yeah, very soon. Okay. So that is the tree man, and then you have... Two left. Over here you have a blitzer and a lineman. The blitzer and the lineman are going to block the catcher. So the guy in the yellow base is the catcher. They're going to do a multiple block, and so their combined strength is what? Seven. Seven his versus his two. two, so plus five. Ten. Ten. Defender is knocked over. So you knocked him oh, over? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, Defender is knocked over. Same on both tables. You knocked him over. 
He missed, missed his armor him. roll. So now he's on the injury chart. And seven is KO'd. KO'd. You've KO'd that poor skeleton. So he goes in the KO'd box. All right. Very good. So <laughs> the elves are mopping up these poor skeletons. And who else do you have to move? Anybody? Nope. That is okay. it. But I will say that there is a mass of... Uh, but I can hand off the ball. You can. And I will. Okay, so you're handing off the ball over there to a uh, thrower, right? Mm -hmm. The catcher is handing off the ball to this thrower. And uh, I guess our MVP is going to be this skeleton here who, uh, in, a, in a classic defensive tactic, somehow over time took out all of these elves. They tried he, to block him. He took his femur bone and shoved it between their legs. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, all right, cool. So that is the elves' turn. So now we go to the skeleton turn. We go to rolling over and rolling over and rolling over. All right. So anybody who was uh, face down in the dirt now gets to be face up in the dirt. And anybody who's face up in the dirt gets to stand up, but we don't have any of those yet. And you get to bring in two guys. And I get to bring in two reservists. So uh, let's see. I have a couple of catchers here. I have a thrower and a catcher. And I actually have uh, a stun guy who can move one box to get into and reserves. I think the skeletons automatically move up a box, don't they? They don't have to roll. Yes. So he would, your KO'd guy would move to stunned. Well, let's see here. It's not exactly how it works, I don't think. Okay. Um, when skeletons are injured, place them in the appropriate spot in the dugout. However, the skeleton coach may then move one player, one box toward the reserve box at the start of each of the skeleton turn. Okay. After a touchdown is scored, the skeleton's coach may move all the oh. players two boxes toward the reserve box. So, right. yeah, they will gradually move that way, turn by turn, whereas if an elf gets injured, he has to wait till the uh, the next touchdown. So, that's what's going on here. Skeletons get to do their thing. If you're just joining us, we're playing Classic Blood Bowl from 1988, Champions of Death versus the Elfheim Eagles. And it is the skeleton's turn, and they are trying to stop the elves from uh, getting the football into the end zone, and they're pretty close to doing that. Would you like to readjust your camera at this point? Is that where you want it to be? Just to I have a it. feeling you're going to be coming after me, so yes. Okay, so that's, that's a good shot of the action. So there is the uh, tree man. You can kind of see at the top of the screen, or bottom of the screen, there is the guy with the football. I'm using a yellow dot because it's just more visible on camera. And then over on the other side, there is uh, just, um, I don't know, some elf, an elf blitzer, an elf lineman, a bunch of skeletons, a mummy, and they're all on the wrong side of the field to really do anything useful. So now it is the, uh, let's see, what shall we do? All right, we're going to try this. This, uh, <laughs> okay, this, well, yikes. It's not looking good for the skeletons, so they will try their best to one, two, three, four, five. They're going to sprint that way. One, two, three, four, five. So he's moving. Is his he going to attack the guy? No, he just sprinted. Okay. And he should be face up. I th oh, that is. Yeah, he should be face up. All right. Okay. And then let's see. I have a uh, skeleton lineman here. One, two, three, four, five. I have a thrower here. Can you move slightly more? Nope, the catcher can. The catcher can, not the thrower. One, two, three, four, five. This thrower. Let's see. I think, um, well, I guess, I guess they will move up that way. They can't uh, sprint into your tackle zone, so they'll move that way. That's my two reservists. They're trying to catch up with these two elves here. And... Let's see, I have the okay. mummy and, and a more. lineman mm -hmm. here. The mummy is going to move up, and he is going to block that elf blitzer. blitzer. Not wolf blitzer, but elf blitzer. So that's taking place right here. The mummy has mighty blow two, two. right? Yep, and he's also got a strength of six versus my strength of four. Okay, mummy has a strength of six. Yep. So plus two on the roll. 10, 12. 12, defender is stunned. So he just, just He just goes to the stun. He box. goes to the stun box. Stunned him, stunned him straight out. Yep. All right. 
And you've got one more lineman. So that is the... Uh... He could actually block the blitzer if you want. Well, let's see. He could, but he doesn't want to. Okay. He thinks that's a losing proposition. Probably. So uh, what we will try to do, though, is let's see. One, two, three... He'll move over here in case he needs to help the mummy against the tree man. Okay. Okay, so I guess that is the skeleton's turn, and I think the elves are going to be able to rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. He's not going to be able to get He's it. not going to be able to get If he I would have left it with the catcher, but he But he can do an extra move. Or he can just pass to the catcher. Okay. At the end of the turn. Right. All right. Well, do what you will. Okay. Do standing what thou up. wilt. Standing up. If everybody standing stands up, up, if they are able to. So we get lots of standing up. That skeleton catcher stands up. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So where is the ball? Ball is right there. Okay. Very good. So what are you guys going to do? What are you elves going to do? So the thrower is going to move there. All right. Catcher is going to move into the end zone. All right. Oh, well, that's pretty clever. So the catcher had enough movement to get all the way into the end zone. He and should so, have just held onto the ball, then he could have run it in. And then at the end of the turn, he'll be able to do a just hand it. He'll just be able to hand it across the, uh, okay, yeah. across the goal line and get the uh, score. So good for you. Yeah. Good for you, elves, to uh, get that score. But we're not there yet, so you still have to yet. do your stuff on the rest of the One, turn here. One, two, three. That's a catcher, right? Yep. And the linemen are right. both going to block the linemen. Okay, so we have an elf lineman here. We have a uh, elf thrower here, and they're going to block that skeleton catcher. Is that what's going on? Yep. So the catcher on both of our teams has a strength of two, and the lineman has a strength of three. So All it's right. plus three. Plus three on your roll. Ooh, not so Seven, good. I think, is a standoff. So that's right in there. That is a standoff. You have a uh, catcher here. You have a lineman here. You have a blitzer here. And you have another lineman here. So the thrower. Is I think going that thrower to... just blocked. This thrower was right no, here. No, it was, we did a multiple block. Oh, right on this lineman. Yeah. Okay, oh. I completely screwed that up. I thought you two guys here were going against this catcher. Right. No. Okay. Um, so the thrower is going to go against the lineman. All right. So, so even this up. thrower against that skeleton lineman. I said catcher, didn't I? You did. That, so that's going to keep proceed. Okay. Don't slow down the game. Just proceed. Steamroll over any mistakes. <laughs> then we'll just do the lineman then. Oh okay. Well. Oh, it won't work. Yeah. Okay. Thrower, even up. Four. Four. Or is attacker knocked over? All right. So he's knocked over. Blows he, his armor roll. He got a two stunned. He's stunned. Oh, I had one that I could bring in, right? Because he got knocked out the last time. Right. Yeah, The mummy sure. did. So I'll bring in a lineman. All right. The mummy uh, took out a blitzer. So you're bringing in a lineman replacement. For right the there. other one that got knocked out by the mummy. All right. I can't. One, two, three, And the more you four. whisper, the more the microphone okay. likes it. <laughs> the, the lineman is going to block the catcher. Okay. So Let's see what's going on here. Two. Hold on. So where are we? Point out where, what, who's so doing what. So the lineman is a... Okay, the so catcher. you've moved up with Elf Lineman. He's going to block that catcher. So three versus two, so plus one. Plus one on the roll. Ten. Ten. Defender is knocked over. Okay, you knocked over that catcher. And he is only an armor of seven. So he, he blows wasn't. his armor roll. Injury roll is three, stunned. so that's stunned. So he's stunned. You stunned that poor little catcher. So you'll be able to move him into the reserve box next time. Right. So it'll be all good. Okay. Um... All right. Then well, I have the tree man. The tree man. He's. I'm going to move these two. I think. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So they're just going to run to the end zone. And the tree man. All right. One. Two. Two. He's going to block the lineman. All right. There's a skeleton lineman right there. Tree man is blocking. So five versus three. Or eight versus three. Eight versus three. You get plus a plus five, five on your roll. Which I needed. That's 12. Defender is stunned. So you stunned him. He goes right into the stun box. Poor skeletons are just getting steamrolled by these elves. Okay, so he's going to hand off the ball All right. for a touchdown. Let's, uh, let's get a picture of that here. So, the, No, 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 no. That's fine. Okay. No. <clears throat> I mean, you can if you want to. Go ahead. Okay. All right, have you got it? Mm-hmm. We're trying to avoid um, moving the cameras around when this, in certain circumstances because we might uh, give every, give everybody seasick from the emotion. So <laughs> that should be fine though. So the uh, thrower had the ball. He's just going to hand it to the catcher who's in the end zone, and that is a touchdown. So touchdown <laughs> for the elves. Enter. Uh, add your own uh, crowd noises here. So the elves have scored the f the first score in the game. And now we go to the, uh, well, let's see, that's a touchdown. So I can move all my skeletons two, um, two squares down the injury track. So the blitzer gets to move. The elves. Because he doesn't have the problem of, not, of getting majorly injured. Okay, so blitzers are tougher than regular elves. So you have, uh, in your movement track down here, your injury track, you had one blitzer who can move from the stun box. The and other one elf. has to roll. The other elf got his hair must, and so he is going to, uh, he's got to roll something, right? Yeah. He's got to roll a, Don't he can't the... roll a five or a six. Okay. If he rolls a five or a six, he's got to stay there. 1d6 for each elf player in the stun box of the dugout. On a result of three to six, they are moved to the reserve box. On a result of one or two, they have to stay where they are. So he He's fine. So. He shook it off. All right. Fine. Well, let's uh, quickly, quickly, quickly line up our guys. Line up the guys. So why don't you set up? You're going to be kicking off. Mm -hmm. So you have to set up behind the first line, and then uh, once you do that, I will set up my skeletons. And then the kicker, who's ever going to kick, can uh, try to drop the football. Um, no closer than three inches to the end zone or three inches to the sidelines and uh, within 20 inches of whoever is kicking. So go ahead and set your guys up. All right. So we'll put the um, mummy right there. He's worth three. Grab two more guys from your reserve box. Okay. So we will just uh, quickly set up the skeletons. Do I have to wait to bring in my guy from the reserve box until my turn? After the touchdown? Uh, I think you can fill out your squad right now if you okay. wish to. I did. That's why I wanted to check. If that's what you wish to do. All right, I'm adjusting this. Is that adjusted, that camera? You're supposed to be up here. Oh, I'm supposed to be up here. Well, that's correct. So the... Uh, Kicking team has to be behind the first line, and the receiving team is up to the second line. Correct. Okay, so have you got a good angle on those guys with your camera there? No, I do not. Okay. You can kind of come around this way if you want to. That's generally best. Okay. Just a second. Okay, because I'm going to drop it right here. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on. So the uh, champions, of death have <laughs> champions of death have lined up to receive the football, and the elves are kicking off. Who's, <clears throat> excuse me, who's the kicker? Blitzer. The blitzer is kicking. He is not a kicker, so he needs to roll a 10 to land it on that spot. And he, he does, does not. not, so it is going to veer about uh, three squares. Uh, this way, that so way. actually, one, two, three. Life for the champions of death just gets better and better. They cannot Sprints. sprint there to catch it. 
So now we actually have to roll on the balance table, which I have to look up here quickly. Because it's going to kick, they kicked it, it's going to hit the ground, it's going to bounce. Three times, I think. Uh, you got to roll. Oh, you got to roll to see how you it gotta roll. bounces. So uh, we're going to roll 2d6. We're going to see how far. Four, it's going to bounce once. So okay. uh, it's going to bounce once. Seven so is that way. Down. It's going to go one square that way. And uh, that's it. All right. That's where it lands. That's where the ball lands. So that is not all that great for the champions of death. The ball is actually behind them. It's okay. So, well, it's good thing that they are. Uh, good thing that they don't have feelings. That they are emotionless automatons, and uh, that way they're not uh, going to get too devastated by today's loss if that's the way it indeed pans out. So uh, let's see. Let's straighten this out. And, okay, what are we going to do? So the uh, skeletons, my catcher can move up to seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can run Your over here. thrower might be able to grab it. Yeah, but this is what I want to do. Okay. Oh, because he's faster. And then he will move here. So that catcher. Let's see I thought he could only move seven. Oh, was, seven. was that only six? Yeah. Okay, good. I thought so. Good. So that catcher moves. Now, uh, let's see, there's two throwers over here, and they move a total of five with a sprint. So they're going to move up that way. I have, let's see, these linemen move a total of five as well. So the skeleton linemen are all just... Trying to form the wall of bones, which didn't work so well last time. The elves are just too fast and too good at throwing things. And the mummy moves three, and he does not have a sprint, sprint, so he will do the best he can. So that is what's going on there. And I suppose it is time to adjust the cameras again slightly. So you went to. Oh, I uh, had to move up, didn't I? You did get to move up during I'll just your. Move uh, during the kickoff, I'll just move them straight up for. They all move up to the second line. Okay. Good thing you remembered. Mm -hmm. I'm going to adjust my camera to get all the action that I can. And it kind of sometimes works better if you can get behind rather than sh shooting laterally. <clears throat> Need smell? Got it? Mm hmm. If you kind of get it in the corner, sometimes you can. Okay. All right. Happy with that? Yep. All right, let's take a look. So that is the, let's tilt this again just a little like that. Is it okay? I think so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not really. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties from the sideline crew. Okay. All right, it got it? Okay, yeah, good enough. We try our best with the technology we have at our fingertips. Okay, so it is, let's see, what is it? It is the Champions of Death. They have just moved, and now the elves get to move. The skeletons have the football right here, and uh, the elves are going to try to stop them from getting to the end zone, but the skeletons are way back in their own uh, territory. So... What are those elves going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's One, a blitzer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the catcher. That's a catcher. He's moving and sprinting. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So the two linemen are going to gang up on the little thrower. Okay, so we have two linemen over here. They're going to do a multiple block on one of those skeleton throwers. So three, three, and three, so plus, plus three, three. on the roll. Ten, so defender is knocked down. Uh, yeah, that would be a twelve. Oh, twelve? Well, it's still the same thing. Okay. Multiple block table, he's not straight out stunned? Nope. 
Okay. Not on multiple block. All right. So he needs to roll his armor roll of what? Seven? Yeah. Not great. He doesn't do it. Rolls on the injury, ta injury table. Eight. And he is KO'd. That poor little skeleton is KO'd. So he is... Uh, he was right here, and now he's kind of removed from the game for the moment. And, uh, all right, more elves. One, two, three. The elf onslaught. One, two, three. So the, the blitzer and the lineman are going to block the lineman. All right. So four plus three is seven, and you have three, so plus four. Plus four on your roll for the multiple block. Fourteen, so he's knocked over. Knocked him over. This one here? Yep. And he's going to roll for his armor. And he does not get it. And a nine serious is... Serious injury. Serious injury. He is injured. Oh, this is looking terrible for the skeletons. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three. Kay. So this lineman is going to block the other lineman diagonal to him. All right. That... Oh, okay. So, so three, three versus, versus three, three, so just Even a straight roll. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Defender is knocked over. Defender is knocked over. So that skeleton is knocked over. Now he's got to make an armor roll. He Five. Makes he makes it, though. That's a victory, sort of. Mm -hmm. That's sort of a victory. They're not doing very well. The elves are steamrolling. The elves like fighting uh, skeletons because they're wimpy. They don't like fighting dwarves because they're not. Three man, one, two, three. Let's go there. All right. Tree man cannot sprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the catcher. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the thrower. All right. And I don't think you can even see him on the screen here. I have a... Catcher way back there. Way back here. Way back here is the skeleton catcher. And so somehow he's got to get all the way down the field. All right. So. Rolly, um, rolly over. It is now the skeleton's turn. They're going to roll that uh, skeleton over. Nobody's. The KO guy gets to go to stunned. The KO guy gets to go to stunned. And we can bring out. Two. Say, two, think, right? Think, yep, two. I have a bunch of catchers here. Well, they can move fast, at least. They can move fast. So those two skeleton catchers are going to come out onto the board. And let's get a shot of... Let me move my thing here. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to move this. Okay. Right like that. Have you got a good angle on it? I think so. Okay. You can see your little catcher there. There is the catcher. So the skeleton's going to turn here, and they have to try to do something wily to defeat these speedy and accurate elves. So let's see. I think these uh, two skeleton catchers are going to go over here, and they're going to do a multiple block on this blitzer. So it's even up. So that's a four versus four. Yep. And they got a ten. So... Defender is knocked over. So they knocked over that blitzer. And he's fine. He makes his armor roll, though. Then I have uh, two skeletons right here. Let's see if we got a shot of them. They're kind of on the other side. All right. Then I have two skeletons right here, and they are going to... Uh, he's going to have to move. I know. Hold on. The other two. These two skeletons right here. Mm-hmm are going to uh, go ahead and do a multiple block on that lineman. Three, three, and three, so plus three. They have a combined strength of six. You have a strength of three, so plus three on the roll. Eight. All players are knocked over. Everybody's knocked over. It's probably not going to go well for the skeletons. They're knocked face down. You I'm passed your armor roll. They need to make... This guy failed his, so he's got to roll an injury roll. Okay. Six. Six. Stunned. He is That's stunned. And the other one failed his armor roll, of course. And a two is stunned. So they're both stunned. 
They so stun themselves thing. trying to get that blitzer or that lineman. Wow. Okay. Yowza. So let's Kinda see. Kind of like the, when, the skele when I was trying to get that one skeleton. Right. Okay. So <laughs> the mummy. Can the mummy even get to anybody from where he is? He can get to the tree man. Or I think he might be able to get to that one too. Yeah, he can get to that one. All right. That's a catcher. So. Just out of spite, the mummy is going to block that catcher. He has a strength of six. And the catcher has a strength of two. Strength of two plus four on the roll. Not great. Eight. Eight is both players are knocked Box. over. <laughs> okay. Boba but, Hotep the mummy is not doing very well. But at least his armor is 11, so. His armor is 11? I think so. Yep, his armor is 11. Wow. So, if you miss that, He's that fine. would be pretty bad. He has Mighty Blow plus 2. So, let's see. That reduces your armor by 2. By 2. He's a catcher, so he has an armor of 8. So I failed it. All right, I need to roll on the injury roll and add 1. Okay, eight. 8. He is KO'd. He is KO'd by yeah. the mummy. All right. So Boba Hotep did KO a catcher. That's more of a moral victory than anything else. I think this uh, skeleton here, let's see if we get a shot of him. I think this skeleton lineman here is going to do a prone block on uh, this lineman who's knocked over. Okay. Again, just Should out of spite. He has a strength of three versus your strength of three. He gets he a seven. seven. Nothing happens. Nothing happens on the prone block table. Yeah. Great. And what's your catcher going to do? And then this catcher is going to go screaming down the sidelines, or screaming, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's just going to move eight, right? He can move eight. Nope, he can move seven. He can move seven. Yeah. So he is trying his best. He doesn't have a lot of free will. He doesn't have the ability to reason or to plan, but the necromancers have said, run. Run, you bag of bones. And so there he is with the yellow dot representing the football. So if you're just joining us, we are playing Classic Blood Bowl from 1988. This is the Champions of Death versus the Elfheim Eagles. The Elves have already scored. The uh, Skeletons have possession of the football. And I guess uh, we'll see what happens when it is now the Elf's turn. So this Skeleton stands up. This uh, Elf Flips rolls over. face up. Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep rolls face up. And that is where we are at. And... Uh, I'm going to take a little sip here for my dry throat since I've been yapping. So I can bring in one guy. Bring in one reservist? Yep. Excellente. Okay, let's see where we're at. Let's see if we got... Christian, hi. Welcome, buddy. Tree man. The tree man. One, two, three. All right. Tree man clumps forward. Oh, this lineman. One, two, three. All right. So lineman against lineman, even up. So you're going to try to block that skeleton lineman. And you got um, a five. It's a standoff. Nothing happens. Standoff, nothing happens. All right. Thrower. Are we running in the correct two, direction today? We are trying, Christian. We got turned around a little bit in our last game. And I uh, was running toward the wrong end zone, which was pretty hilarious. So, catcher went right next to the tree man. All right, so an elf catcher has moved up next to the tree man. Let's get a shot of that. So that catcher has moved up here, okay. Lineman, one, two, three, four, elf five, lineman. six. It's going to stay right there. Going to try to create a defensive perimeter. Blitzer. The elf blitzer. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Can he move seven? Yep. Wow. Four and three. S speedy. They're Very all speedy. four. They're all four and three. All right. Um. These two linemen. All right. One, two. One. One, two, three. Are gonna go after the thrower. Are gonna block the thrower. All right. So these two guys are blocking that. Total of thrower. six for mine. Christian, I think three. part of the program, part of the program, part of the problem here that gets, what'd you get? Uh, ten. Ten. Or five and three is eight. All players are not. Okay, so your combined strength was what? Um, six. Your combined strength was six. The skeleton's combined strength, or single strength was 
Three. Three. So plus, so plus three, three. So is seven. Eight. All players are knocked over. Eight. Excuse me. Yep. All players are knocked over. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to talk to Christian and I'm getting confused here. Mm -hmm. That's what happened, Christian. No, part of the issue is so these camera angles are uh, pointed. What was that? My armor roll. Your armor roll for one of them. Yep, and so they're both linemen, so he, uh, he, failed, he failed it. it. He rolled an injury roll. So a seven, he is KO'd. Okay, one uh, elf got KO'd. The other one's rolling for his armor roll. And he's He fine. made it. The uh, thrower is fine. So the camera angles are a little weird because I think the undead are perhaps a bit more organized and competent than the orcs. Well, I wouldn't know about that. They have no free will. Maybe that has something to do with it. But the cameras are pointed kind of at wonky angles, depending on what we need to see. And so our perspective is always changing. So it does get me a little turned around sometimes. So everyone's rolling over and standing up? All right. So let's hold on okay. let's, before we get too far ahead of ourselves. That okay. was the elves' turn? It was. That's everything they're doing? Yes. Okay. So now it goes to the undead turn. People stand up if they are ready to stand up. So these elves stand up here. Bubba Hotep stands up. And these guys roll over. And those two there you rolled can, over. You can bring in one guy and move the other three up. Or okay. move one of those guys up. Okay. So I have uh, in the uh, reserve box, I have a stunned skeleton that I can move into reserve. And I have a catcher that I can put out on the field. So that's what's going to happen there. And now we need to kind of figure out what's going on. So you see this guy here with the football. It is the yellow dot representing the football. And uh, let's see. I don't know. Maybe I can punch a hole here somehow. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I have it. I have a plan in my mind. So Bubba Hotep is going to clump over here. He is going to block the blitzer. The blitzer. So let's see. Do you have a picture of him? Yes. Yeah, kind of right here. He's going to block that blitzer. He has a strength of six. Blitzer has a strength of four, so plus two. Plus two on the roll. Eight, nine, ten. Defender is knocked over. Defender is knocked over. Bubba Hotep has mighty blow. Reduces your armor value by two. So his armor value then is seven. And he's fine. And he's fine. Okay. Then I have a, uh, let's see, a skeleton here. One, two, three. He is going to try to block this lineman. If you can see that. So this skeleton is going to try to block that lineman. He has a strength of three. You have a strength of three. Yep. So it's even up. And so six. It's a standoff. It's Nothing a standoff. Happens. Nothing happens. Hmm. Okay. This catcher. Gosh darn it. There's lots of. You've got three skeletons left you can attack with, though. You can block with, though, to open up a hole. I do. I'm looking at him. Or. I'm looking at. I'm and just, you also got this one too. Or I know. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking about my options here. Oh, that was this. Okay. Yes, I do. I have all that stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, these three skeletons are going to combine for multiple block on this blitzer. Okay. So that's three, two, and two. So that's seven. Seven total strength of seven versus your strength of four, so right? Plus three. Plus three. So. Eight. No, that'd be nine. Nine? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> defender's knocked over. Defender's knocked over. He's got to roll his armor roll. Fail, Fail it. it. Injury. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. They killed him. Thank God they killed him. The Blitzer's dead. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a moral victory. So, you opened, up a, you opened up a big hole. Okay. Then this lineman here... You He's already gonna... used him, didn't you? Oh, did I? Yeah, Was you it a standoff? No, you used him to kill my blitzer. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I did. I did indeed do that. Okay, so this thrower here. Is it gonna That's move? a catcher. That catcher, thank you. Is uh, going to do nothing. He's going to stay right where he is. Okay, so I have the uh, catcher here with the football. One, two, three, four... Five, and I guess he's just going to uh, move down there, and then this catcher is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three. And is that everybody? Is Does that... he want to block or he's just getting in the way? He's just getting in the way. He's just trying to be an obstruction. Okay. Are you going to hand off the football to the other catcher? You know, I might indeed do that. At the end of the turn, just for fun, this uh, skeleton catcher is going to hand off the football to this other catcher. And now it is the elves' turn, and so we will see what the elves can do with this situation. How much time do we have left on the clock? We are at uh, one hour, ten minutes. We have 20 minutes left on the clock to see what happens. And now it is the elves' turn. So, so very good. Standy Uppy. Standy Uppy. Anybody who uh, gets to stand up gets to stand up. If they get to roll over, they get to roll over. If you're just joining us, we're playing some classic Blood Bowl from... Uh, 1988, and uh, the elves already have, it's the elves versus the champions of death. The elves already have one touchdown. Champions of death have possession, though, and uh, this and catcher. And they managed to kill off a blitzer. And they did manage to kill an elf blitzer, which uh, I think is a moral victory. So they killed him. Maybe they can recruit him on their team now. <laughs> and uh, now it is the elves' turn and uh, the elves get to decide what they wish to do. There's a bunch of elves right here, elves there, elves there. You brought in a couple more, and the tree man is still up and running. Boba Hotep the mummy is over here. And, uh, yeah, he might try to stomp this guy when his turn comes. But what are you going to do? What will you do? So, one, two, three. That's an elf lineman. He can move how many four. in his regular movement? Four. Four, okay. So. Does he wish to block or anything? Yeah, these two linemen are going to block this catcher. All right, so these two linemen mm -hmm. are combining forces to block that catcher. He has a strength of two. They have a combined strength of six, so plus four on the roll. So he's knocked over. Twelve. Going. You knocked him over with a multiple block. He's going to roll for his armor. Eight. He, he does not make, make it. Nine. He's serious injured. Seriously injured. He's a bag of bones. So uh, some of his parts are missing. They can't quite staple them together. All right. So that is these two guys. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. All right. You just, you he just, just blocked. Yeah, he just okay, blocked so the thrower is going to block the catcher. So three right. versus two, so plus one. On the roll, 11. 11. That is defender is knocked over. All right. Is that on the regular block table? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, you knocked him over. He makes his armor roll. All right. Tree man. Tree man. Tree man is going to block this lineman. All right, let's get a shot of that. Let's, let's, okay, so tree man right here is going to block this skeleton lineman. You have a strength of what? Eight. Eight versus, versus his strength, strength of three. three. So plus five on the roll. He's and knocked over. He's knocked over. Oh, stunned. Sorry, he's wait. stunned. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's stunned. He's stunned. There's a different table for multiple blocks than there is for single blocks, but you stunned him. You took him out. All right. Then so, you have uh, these, this lineman, this catcher, this lineman. And then these two catchers. And those two catchers. So lineman is going to block this thrower. All right. Lineman's blocking the thrower. So three versus three. Three versus three. Six. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. One. Two catchers. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. They're sprinty. Eight, yeah. They're very sprinty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, all right. And then I've got these two. What are they? A catcher and a lineman. lineman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, elf catchers are very fast. Okay. And one, one, two, right three, there. four, five, six, seven. Okay. Is that all of your elves? That is all of my elves. All right. So. So roll over and stand up. So this elf catcher rolls over. 
And that elf stands up. One uh, skeleton lineman comes onto the pitch. And you can move one over. A skeleton lineman moves over into the reserve box. I'm short a few players now. I have, he counts as three. Mummy counts as three, four, five, six, seven, eight, You're nine. You're short two players. I'm short two players because of injuries. I got four people in the injured box. Two people in the stun box and one guy in reserve. So that is what is cooking right now. There is the skeleton with the football. And let's see. What can we do about all this? So I think, let's see. We're going to start with Bubba Hotep. Where is he? Where is that dude? He's, all right. Um, yeah, you can use my camera. Yeah, there he is. So he is going to block that elf blitzer right there, just out of spite. He's going to see if we can kill another one. <laughs> kill another elf. Another elf dies. So plus two on your roll. Six. Strength oh. of six versus your strength of four for the blitzer. So plus two. Correct. You ready? Oh, it's just a seven. So stand off. Nothing stand happens. Stand off. Nothing happens. That's too bad. I have a uh, skeleton thrower way the hell over here. Mm-hmm. And just for heck, he's going to try to block this uh, elf lineman. So even up. Strength of three versus strength of three. Six. Six. Nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing of note. Nothing of consequence. Here's where all the action is. I'm going to adjust this camera. So we can get a better shot here. Oops. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, there's what's going on. This uh, skeleton has the ball. I have, uh, let's see, I have a skeleton here. How am I going to punch a hole? Okay. So I think... Huh. Dead air. This, okay, so, so this... So I can tackle you. Yeah, I think he'll just block. He'll just block that lineman. Okay. That's not really what I want, but three versus three. We'll see if we can take one off the field anyway. Eight, nothing. Uh, both players are knocked over. Okay, everybody's knocked over. I'll take that as a, a victory. Moral victory. My armor roll, I make it. Your armor roll, eight, you make it. You make it. Both just barely. Both just barely. <laughs> This skeleton here is kind of trapped. Um, so what I can do though is I can, because this this skeleton is lying down, but he doesn't really mm -hmm. occupy that square. So he's going to move one here, mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Where's this guy? Right he's, there. Right there. He's right here. He's right there. Yep. Three. Hmm. Let's see. Where was it right here? One, two. If I go. Three, you could try to tackle him. Do you want to try to tackle him? Oh, and, oh. No. Okay. One, two, three. Actually, no. One there, mm -hmm. two there. Enter the tackle zone for three, yep. four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, I can go that way. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. Yep. So that uh, skeleton goes that way. He kind of he went into one elf's tackle zone, but he didn't move from one square in a tackle zone to another one. So he's over here now, which uh, is doesn't really do much good since the elves are so damn speedy. This uh, catcher here, I guess we'll try to help him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that catcher will move over there. Did I do anything with this uh, nope. lineman yet? You did not. This lineman is going to block that elf right there, that elf catcher. See mm -hmm. how much time we have on the clock. Um, 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes left on the clock. So maybe we can make something happen. So this uh, lineman is going to block that catcher. So you have plus one. Lineman has a strength of three versus the elf catcher only has a strength of two? Yep. Okay. I got an 11 then. Okay. Defender is knocked over. Defender is knocked over. What's his armor? Eight. Eight. Roll your armor roll and he makes it. He's fine. 
And is that everybody? That is all the people I have. That is all the skeletons I have in this world to try to do something. But I do have the ball, and I am within one, two, three, four, five, six squares of the end zone. So uh, here's the ball right here. So now it is the elves' turn. Really, really. Probably the last turn that uh, we're going to have in this game. This uh, catcher stands up. And what are the elves going to do? This lineman is going to try to block that catcher. Do you need to bring anybody on the field? I can't. You can't. Okay. I have all my Oh! Players. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have anybody. Well, oh. I have all my players on the field. Okay. You have, have 11 players on the field? All yes. right. So this lineman is going to block that catcher? No, he's going to block the one with the ball. He's going to block the one with the ball, try to make it scatter. Okay. So three versus two, so plus one. Plus one on your roll. Seven. Seven. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. That's good for me. It is. Let's All right. see. Can we get over there? I don't think so. One, two. Oh, we can. Yeah. So that gonna... lineman is going to try to block that catcher. So 10. 10. Defender is knocked over. So he knocked him over. So he's got to roll for armor. Got to roll for armor roll. Gets he it. Gets it, and then the ball scatters. And then the ball scatters. We could use an advantageous scatter. Let's see, where's my D8? Is it gone? Is it lost? Eight. It scatters that way. Seven. Seven. So, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. End zone. Goes into the end zone, scatters again. Oh, I'm we'll doing it on the, on the pitch. Four. Four, straight. Straight that way. Seven. Seven. So, one, two. Seven. So, that's where the ball ends up. That's good for me. That's very good for you. It's near a couple of elf catchers. Yep. And... All right. They are speedy. And they're speedy. So these guys have done their thing, right? Let's see here. Yep, those guys have done their those thing. Those guys did their thing. That guy did. That guy got knocked over. You have a uh, thrower here. Is he going to try to block that catcher? Yep, three versus two, so plus one. Six. Standoff. Standoff. You have a blitzer here next to the mummy. He doesn't like being next to the mummy very much. All right, that's over here. So he is going to Move, run away. He's going to run away. Actually, you have to roll if you want to block a mummy. You have to roll to see if you can because they have tomb rot. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we are in the last uh, few minutes of our game here. We set a timer of 90 minutes for the game. The elves have one touchdown. It is their uh, turn. The skeletons had the ball, but it's been knocked free, so it is scattered. That blitzer is moving way the hell down there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see what you're going to do. You're going to have a catcher run up and try to throw it to a blitzer, probably. So the lineman is going to block the thrower. All right, so, so three versus three. Eight. Both people both knocked over. Both players are knocked over. All right. All right, roll your armor roll. You I'm made ahead. it. Skeleton made it just barely. Just, uh... Seven. Oh, that was seven. Okay. It yeah. was seven. It was seven. Good. Um, Trust me, it was seven. Uh, yeah. So one, two. So that elf catcher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was moving down the sidelines. Let's adjust your camera a little bit to kind of catch that action. Get from behind there. You got it. Yep. All right. I don't really got it, but okay. So that's what's going on. So that elf catcher has the ball. He's picked it up. He's running, and at the end of the turn, I presume he is going to throw it. Yes. Okay. One, two. That's another catcher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Very good. I think that's all my guys. All right. Now you're going to do a pass. Yes, we are going to do a pass. So we're going to do a short pass from a catcher you to sure? a catcher. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, it's 
a short pass. It catcher, looks... Catcher to a catcher. Oh, I'm sorry. Catcher to catcher. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> My apologies. I thought you were throwing for that blitzer who no, was moving down the field. I want a plus two. <laughs> All right. Very good. So this catcher here is throwing to this catcher here a short pass. And the catcher has a throwing skill of zero, but the other catcher has a... A coolness. coolness of plus two, so it's so you plus get two. Plus two on the roll. What do you need? A short pass. I need a seven to twelve normally, right. so I need a five to twelve. All right. And we got it. Seven. So he passes to that catcher, and that is the end of the turn. So are we almost to the end of the game? We are five minutes out. So let's take a look and see if there's anything conceivably that the skeletons can do first of all this guy stands up this elf stands up and these guys roll over you want to stand up my other one that elf stands up and you can bring in a reservist i can bring in a reservist you can move one over from stunned move a skeleton over from the stun box and uh well our options are somewhat limited on trying to catch that elf unfortunately so I think all we can do is try to put a hurt on some elves. So let's see. Bubba Hotep. One, two, three. Where is this guy exactly? He's in this square. Where is it? This square right here? This square right here. Okay. So one, two, three. I think I can get over there. Yep. So the mummy is going to go over there, and he is going to... Uh, see, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's going to do a prone block on this elf lineman. Okay. So he has a strength of six. You have a strength of three. So plus three. So seven, ten. Defending player is injured. Remove him from the board. On the prone block table? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. He injured him. Yep. Straight up injured him. Broke yep. his little elf ankle. Yep. Okay. Then I have, let's see. I guess this uh, lineman here could try to block that elf there. This lineman here is going to block that elf there. He uh, has a three strength versus your three, three strength. So I got an eight. Both players are knocked Both over. players are knocked over. I you pass nine. your armor roll. He passes his armor roll. I have a uh, skeleton thrower, skeleton catcher versus a skeleton thrower. He is going to join forces with this lineman. So together okay. they have a strength of five. five versus your strength of three. three. So plus two. Uh, Eight. Everybody's knocked over. I'm sorry, five, seven. Five. Oh, seven. Nobody's knocked over. Nobody's knocked over. And I have, let's see. A lineman versus a catcher. Yeah, way over here, here is a lineman versus a catcher. So plus one. Plus one. Eight. Eight. Everybody's knocked over. Yep, everybody's knocked over. You miss your armor, miss roll. armor roll. So five, five is, is stunned. So he's stunned. You can have him. And the skeleton misses his armor roll. And six. He's stunned. He's also stunned. Okay. You have one left. And I have one catcher here who is going to kick this lineman in the groin. Okay. <laughs> so minus one. Minus one. You got a four. Attacker is knocked over. Attacker is knocked over. He makes his armor roll, and I think that is the game. We will take it How as much article time do we got? Fifth. Well, well, there's nothing I can do to stop you from running into that. Unless you want to, do you want to just battle it out and roll some more damage? Well, all I got to do is run in because I got eight. Okay. So that's what I thought. It is. Uh, you have the one minute to run into the end zone, <sighs> and the crowd goes wild, and the elves score another touchdown. So the score is two. To zero, which is good because the last game it was zero to zero. It was just a slugfest between dwarves and orcs. So that, I guess, is the game today. Hard fought. At least the uh, skeletons. Skeletons put a lot of hurt. At least there. they killed somebody. They did. They, they killed, killed a blitzer. blitzer. Even. And they injured a lineman. They did. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. Glad you, glad you could join us today. And, uh, yeah, so uh, the score is two to zero, but casualties are one, one. <laughs> zero to one uh, in favor of the uh, the undead who managed to kill an elf blitzer and perhaps they will bring him onto their team 
Perhaps the necromancers will dig him up and use his skills on the champions of death. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, that is our uh, latest game of Classic Blood Bowl 1988. And we hope you enjoyed it. These uh, live stream games are a little bit interesting because we're moving cameras around and trying to remember rules and, and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. I uh, enjoyed playing the undead. I'm sad that the mummy... Was not able to... Uh, tomb rot anyone. Tomb rot anybody or put a hurt on anyone. But then I guess neither really was the tree man. He didn't do that much. He might have knocked a few people over, but he didn't really stomp anybody into the soil. And I think there was actually just a regular old rank-and-file skeletons who killed that blitzer. So, uh, yeah, good Although on them. Although if the mummy, mummy knocked anyone, injured anyone, then they got to roll for tomb rot. Yeah, I don't remember if that happened or not. But, yeah, they would have to roll for tomb rot. So, I guess, folks, that is a wrap. On our latest live stream, thanks very much for uh, checking it out. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll be back with more live streams and unboxings and builds and plain old-fashioned uh, battle reports here in the near future. So uh, until then, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. <laughs>